Hi everyone, I'm Councilwoman Dr. Salandia Hammond. Now many of you know me as Sue Hell Baby. <laughs> hey, I, I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you about my friend, Dr. Tiffany Cooks, our current supervisor. I'm endorsing Supervisor Tiffany Cooks for a few reasons. One is when we look back at history and look at where we've come from, we can definitely say that Dr. Cooks has definitely taken us further than many of our previous administrations. She inherited Williamsburg County, probably at some of its lowest points. I mean, we've had some natural, natural disasters. We've had hurricanes, we've had floods, and we've had the pandemic, which we're still in. Not to mention a budget deficit. Yet and still, Dr. Cooks came in and dealt with a very complex, challenging council at that time and was able to work with them and to resolve a lot of the issues that we had. Now, I know many of you are saying we should be so much further along, but let me say this to you. Since I've been councilwoman in this last year and four months, one thing I've come to learn is that you cannot dig yourself out of the mud overnight especially when it's taken decades to be put in the mud. It's going to take some time. But what I can say is that Dr. Dr. Cooks is a gifted leader, a creative leader and a progressive leader, a leader who thinks out of the box. And it's evident when we look at how she's turned things around in regards to our budget. We're no longer in a deficit. When we look at how she's turned things around with getting grants for this county, if it were not for certain grants, we would not even be able to operate at, at the pace that we are operating now. When we look at the relationship she's forged here in Columbia, here in neighboring counties, which has helped us to go even further, we know that she's doing an amazing job. Listen, you know, when I ran for office, I told you guys, don't be loyal to poor leadership. But I also want to say, don't be loyal to someone who's promising you something in return. It's called nepotism. What I want you to be loyal to is to our county, our beautiful Williamsburg County and the, and the progressive movement that we have begun. Our supervisor talks about green reform. She talks about recycling. She talks about getting wages increased. She talks about trying not to pass on the burdens of taxes to citizens. She talks about uh, forging relationships with congressmen, senators, and the governor to funnel money into this county. And she does it. It's not just talk, she walks the walk. When you look back at Dr. Cook's accomplishments, you'll see why you should probably vote for her as well. And I say should, because I don't want to say vote Tiffany Cooks. I want you to do your due diligence. I want you to do your research. I know that there are a lot of rumors out there. And what I want to say to that is trust, but verify. Even the things that I tell you, trust, but verify. Check your sources to ensure that it's 100% factual. It's 100% truth. And I guarantee you that if you do your research, if you sit and you talk to doc, Dr. Tiffany Cooks, if you sit and you talk to the sitting council right now, you will hear that we need another four years under the leadership of this great woman. She's got great ideas and she's great with executing those ideas. And I'm looking forward to see where we're going to go as a county. I know you may look around and say, but there's nothing happening. There's lots of things happening. Open your eyes, tune into the county council meetings, call in to the county council meetings, walk in to the county council meetings, watch it on YouTube, watch it on Facebook, watch it on the website. Dr. Cooks under her leadership has made it possible to where you can still be a part of county council meetings without leaving your home. So there are really no excuses. There are great things happening. And I'm excited because I sit on some of the boards that she's on. And what I can tell you is that we fight for Williamsburg County because there are a lot of things in the past that we have missed, great missed opportunities because we didn't have effective leaders on boards or effective leaders with vision or effective leaders with the skill to execute those ideas and vision. Under Dr. Cooks, with this sitting council that we currently have, I know that we can continue to do great things. And I'm asking you to continue to support Dr. Tiffany Cooks. I'm asking you 
that on May 16th, when it's early voting, that you go and you vote for Tiffany Cooks. I'm asking you on June 14th, should you wait till that day to vote, that you go and you vote for Tiffany Cooks. She is the right choice. She has my vote 100%, and I ask that she has your vote as well.